So I recently had a little accident and I uh, fractured a bone in my left hand. It's, it's gonna repair and everything. I, I don't need to get surgery. I was on one of those scooters um, after a concert in San Francisco. And um, these are the ones that you, you have an app and you can rent them. They're really, really fun. Uh, but I, I hit a curb that I didn't see. <laughs> anyway, I've been trying to paint with this thing and um, and it's it's hard, you know, it's hard. I'm in the studio right now and I'm doing a bunch of paintings and I can't, I can't lift these big paintings myself anymore. So I gotta keep asking for help and sometimes the person's not there and then I can't move the thing. And then the way I hold the painting guide, um, I have to do it a different way because it hurts. Um, so there's all these sort of, it's just, it's actually just the cast that's causing a lot of the problem. And, and the finger's weak still, but, um, and then it's getting paint all over it. And, and I'm trying to, I can't put a glove on my hand, right? This is oil paint and I got a glove on this hand and I make such a mess of my hands normally. So I'm having to keep this hand, it doesn't have a glove, so I've gotta be really careful. Anyway, um, I, it's, it got me thinking about how uh, and I started doing this. I, I, it, it's harder now. <laughs> you know, it's harder to do this. And so therefore, well, obviously I'm not going to be able to make as, not, as much work and it's not going to be as good. Who could do this with a hand, you know, like, well, he hurt his hand. You start going down this road and I've got these really, uh, some folks coming in a few days to visit my studio who are, uh, who have purchased work in the past and they're just coming for a visit and I'm wanting to get some work done. I want to make it look really good. And, and so I haven't, I, I started to feel like these, all these things were happening to me that were stopping me, you know, the pressure and everything. Uh, and, and this is what I realized that all the, all the external um, challenges, the reactions to them, the reactions to my hand, the reactions to, oh, I've got to have all this work done to impress these people, all these reactions do not serve. And that, and it took me a few days and I completely got into my art making, but it was interesting, like none of, the, being reactive in any way, shape or form to external things, um, I mean, generally that's not so good, but especially making art. Uh, it just blocks it and it just gets in the way. And once I was able to kind of like forget about all that and drop into my art making, it's just been so, so much fun. And the work always turns out better when you're in that headspace. So it's just interesting, right? Like, I don't think there's any place for a reaction that's not internal. You know, the, the reactivity, I'm thinking, oh, the gallery wants this. Or, you know, a classic is working on those commissions where someone's expecting something and you're not sure what you've got to do and do they like it and they bought a painting and they want it pink and it matches their couch. All that stuff, for me, just absolutely shuts me down. Not, I mean, even 5%, even 10%, you don't want that. You don't, that's not gonna, that doesn't get you in that flow state of making art um, because you don't get to show up as you. Reacting to outside stuff isn't you, it's just reaction to outside stuff. Staying closer at home, staying more connected to the part of you that is the inside of you and what feels good and what feels do doesn't, all of those things um, are what makes the art better and better and better. So anyway, this was a kind of a, a cool reminder uh, about that because you have an accident or something's hard, you get a hall pass to showing up. <laughs> you kind of get that anyway. As soon as I got the cast, everyone was like, oh, what happened? You know, and I, I was walking around for about 10 days without a cast and it was just as painful, but I didn't get, the, I didn't get any attention because, uh, because no one knew it was broken. But when you put one of these things on, it becomes like, oh, well, you, you, know, you just need to take it easy. And you know, so you can kind of use that to, uh, take time off or whatever, which is, is good, but it doesn't totally serve you in, in the art making world. So anyway, that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking about this week. I'd love for you to share with what, how you think about this. How, how do you not 
go to those places that are outside of yourself when you're making your art? And is that true for you? Like, it doesn't, there's no place for it. The art making, I believe now, is a practice of not doing that at all. That's the practice. And if you can do that, not at all, you get this artifact, you get this art that's really powerful. It's really different. It's more, it's more generous There's, and people want it. Love to hear your thoughts on this. We've got a really cool podcast coming up um, on Wednesday and it's with an artist uh, who, you know, who is, who is going through some life challenges, external stuff, right? That like, it's easy to say, oh, you got a little hurt hand and, you know, or I'm comparing myself to other people and this can get in my way. But what about when the challenges are so friggin' big that, that it, 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 how do you do this? What's the answer when things get really, really big and really, really hard and really, really hit at the core of your very being? Um, we investigate this in this extraordinary conversation. And um, I just um, leave it there. I, I think it's a, an opportunity. Uh, this conversation is an opportunity. It's a gift. And I would love to share this with you. And um, so that's, there's a link down below. You can click on uh, the podcast uh, link there to um, subscribe. Thanks so much for being here. And um, by the way, we have a free artist Facebook group. Um, loads of people are coming in and they're making just incredible art all from all over the world. Uh, I would say the thing about this community is that everyone's supporting each other. And, and I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud to be part of this. And I just love that that's what this is about. And if you are feeling like you want a place where you can share and learn and, um, and take your work to the next level. Uh, the free Art to Life Facebook group is a great spot for you. So there's a link down below. You can uh, enroll in that. Everyone's welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Okay. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.